Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira and today we are playing Space Agency once again. Today we are doing mission number four. So we will go to our briefing and mission number four, Space Telescope. Our objectives are to launch the Space Telescope into orbit. We must maneuver the telescope into the parking zone. We must point the telescope out into space, and then we must release the telescope from our tug module, that is, by the way. Our budget for this mission is $10 million, and once again, our time is 8 minutes, 0 seconds. So, our scientists have just completed, a, completed work on a new multi-billion dollar space telescope. Your mission is to launch it into orbit. The orbit needs to be high and slow. The Navicomp will indicate the intended parking zone with a green square. Carefully maneuver the telescope into the parking zone. Make sure that the telescope is facing outward into space, or example, away from the planet, before releasing it. So we must play tutorial number seven in order to learn how to maneuver in orbit, which we already should have done at this point, which we have actually already done. So now we will look at our reward. To get gold, we must have our rocket cost less than nine million dollars, and our time must be less than two minutes and 15 seconds, with no checkpoints, I might add. All right, so let's go to our vehicles and let's build this thing. So we are going to use small stages. Do we even have any medium stuff yet? Oh, we we have some third stage medium. We have the first stage newest and the first stage black arrow. Ooh, I like the black arrow. But the problem is the black arrow costs more than our entire gold budget on this one. Do we have any heavy stuff? No, we do not. Not yet. And, but we do have a booster now. So, what we are going to do is we are going to, since, let me, let me show you the payload, I should start with that. We have a green space telescope, which green, remember, uh, represents medium stage equipment. So therefore, we are going to be using a small stage rocket to launch a heavy medium stage piece of equipment. So to do that, I'm actually going to go with the Titan II first stage this time because I don't think the Mercury has quite enough gas. Again, if we hold, we can see that the lifting power and the fuel capacity are three for the Mercury, but for the Titan II, we have a lifting power of four and a fuel capacity of three. It also has attachable payload and boosters, by the way. But we get one more block of lifting power for slightly more cost, which in my opinion is worth it. So we are going to use a small-to-small -small connector, and then we are going to use a heavy tug module, which again has two lifting power compared to the lifting power of one that the uh, tug module has. Plus, this is a... Um, heavy payload, so I don't believe the small tug can actually fit it. Yeah, if you look, see how the boosters are almost right out of the uh, circle for the heavy tug module there? Now, we need a fairing, and in this case, we're going to need a big fairing, because this is a heavy road, heavy load. So there we are. Now, well, I believe we could actually make this if we were careful. I'm going to add some solid boosters to this rocket because that jumps us up by approximately 20%. So that's going to make it so much easier. And with these solid boosters and with us pumping the uh, thrusters, I believe that we can get the first stage of this rocket into space. And I believe we are now ready to launch. All right, so let's seconds. skip the countdown, and I'm going to go on four, four this three, time. 
too. Because this Titan takes a little bit longer to ignite its thrusters. And we're going to get up to speed. Which, if you look on the right, that's like right about now. You see how it's moving so fast. And now we can pump the thrusters. And we can pump them less, like, uh, more time in between when we have boosters. Because the boosters are going to keep us... Oops, and I need to pay attention to the roll. The boosters are going to keep us going forward and keep our velocity up without us using as much fuel. And now that that's happened, now the boosters have broke away because they've run out of fuel, decrease the amount of time in between your pulses, and that is going to keep your rocket up to speed while being sparing on your fuel still. Okay, so we are just about in space, so I am going to release, and can I get the... No, I can't. I can't get rid of the fairing. So we'll have to get rid of the fairing in space. So let's find fairing the parking set. spot here. Ah, uh, it's right there. Start so set. I'm going to start speeding up while I'm rotating. And then we can stop at vertical. And then we're going to use our side thrusters to slow us down once we get in the box. And we're probably going to overshoot it a little bit. No, no, we did not. All right, so we can slow down a little bit. And right about here, I want to be in the center because I'm like that. Uh, you know what? This is probably close enough. Let's release. And we should have gold. Yes. Ha. One minute and 39 seconds at a cost of $6.8 million. Thank you all so much for watching. When we come back... We will do number five, Orbital Rendezvous. So, have a wonderful night, everyone. My name's Zira, and this has been the Nocturnal Gaming Network.